Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more random horror games. Today, we're going to be playing Lotan. This is a game about fishing, I think. Apparently, we're fishing in the world of Conan, if I had to guess. Spear fishing in the world of Conan. Okay, this camera, I don't have any, like, real control over it. Oh, there we go. It's kinda... Oh, it's like a big head or something. Ooh, can I climb it? Kinda... No. Yeah, I guess that's the best look we're gonna get. So, big Jotun head. Big cross over there, I don't know some big dead things. This is... Look, I'm just as confused as you are right now, okay? I, as I said, it looks like we're fishing in the world of Conan. Press left mouse to throw a harpoon. I've been using space. See, this thing appears to be... I don't know, something. What is this thing? It's a... Surfboard. With a face and teeth, apparently. This is my frog surfboard. Yeah, see, it's got teeth. <laughs> okay, so as I understand the plot so far, we're playing as some dark elf who rides on the back of a frog surfboard with teeth in a ocean filled with big sea monsters to go spear fishing. I assume we're spearfishing big monsters. And that's not a cross, that's a... Well, I guess it's a multi-sided cross. What, what do you call it when it's a multi-sided cross like that? A big key? A big... I guess it's a pillar? Behold, the great flood of a thousand years that it dredges up the deep creatures pale and blind. When lightning strikes twice, the fish god's tears turn red with blood and mix something with something. I assume mix in the water. Uh... Are these, like, where we're supposed to go? The harpoon's sharpest when the sea is high. The god's great shadow carvings through the waves, pierced into its side with a silent cry. A fisher warrior who had come from stone. Is that me? I'm hallucinating... sea creatures, apparently. This one has a chain. Wait, you don't want to say anything? It's a wee bit foggy out on the la I mean, on, on the shore tonight. I just assume I'm supposed to be following these things. I don't know. Eyes bright with the light of the sun, long lost, their hair salt-crusted, long and gray with age, on oceans warm or rendered thick with frost, endless battles with the god they will engage. Are we gonna kill a god? <gasps> I love doing that! Let's go kill a god! Bring it on! I, I wanna- I wanna try killing a god. With my... spear? Not a very impressive god if I can kill it with the, just a spear. The corpses of its podmates doth the land, flesh bloated white and punctured with their wounds. Dead deities now lay upon the sand. The ocean will become so many tombs. Some of those sea creatures from earlier? Did we go through the Shinto gates? I gotta admit, the world building's fun. They must continue till the last one falls, an urge that rises within the lunar tide, their spears, internal hunger, bloodlust calls, Bur burgeoning clouds of the... Hey! I see that white dot. Is that the moon? Is that the god? Is that who we're supposed to murder? I think it's the moon. I'm gonna stab the moon. Or the moon's gonna... Stab me. Okay.
I'm gonna go kill the moon! Are these more of those dead Jodun heads? Or are these just more pillars? That one has a mouth. So wait, are the Jotun heads big statues? Or do they just have really big foreheads? I really hope we're supposed to be going towards the moon because otherwise I don't know what I'm doing. Look, more Shinto shrines. Woo! On the moon left. I'm gonna follow the shrines for a bit. Maybe that's the right way to go. I think I'm looking for a sea monster, but I'm surprisingly having trouble. I'm about to be turned around completely, though. I'm not a fan of that. Oh? Did I reach the end and just get teleported back to the beginning? Because if so, I'm going to be kind of mad. Straight on towards the moon, I guess. And yes, I'm aware that's probably not a moon, since it's closer to us than the <laughs> pillar just now. I think we might just be repeating ourselves now, which is very upsetting. Okay, so this is the part where the moon disappears. that pillar? It appears to be that pillar. Oh! Found the god. Ooh. <laughs> Big bone serpent. I love it. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, I don't love it that much. saving for a stream, uh, I forgot what it was called, What Lurks Below or something like that. Basically this gameplay, but first person. Woo! I can get much closer here than I could in that game. this type of gameplay if it wasn't obvious. It wasn't good in first person either. I 
things that we both got stuck with I just then. The amount he's oh the amount he's willing to throw the sphere kind of varies a little. It's not just how long I hold it down, there's other factors it seems. Bullshit. too far apart? Okay, apparently it goes in waves. No pun intended. I mean, I guess we go back towards the moon? Wherever that went? Did I lose? Like maybe there's a time limit or something. Jotun pillars suddenly look way more intimidating. And apparently it's flooding more and more. And this arena is apparently much smaller.
symmetry is great, but ooh. Where are you? Can't even see you. Come on. health we have or where to even check that. If I don't get the body, I just to kill the kill a god just because. Okay, I guess no one's gonna believe me when I tell him back home. Hmm. Well, at least we're not doing an old man in the sea kind of thing. I, I appear to not care about the fact I I don't have the body. In hindsight, I don't know how I would take it back to shore. Kind of tie it up to my surfboard and hope for the best. I don't think that's how surfboards work, though. I mean, you could probably get some distance along the waves, but yeah, no, the corpse is gonna fall from what, however you secure it eventually. That's just the coolest imagery. I, I'll give this game uh, aesthetic awards, flat out. So, for as long as one remains in sky or waves, the drowned as if hooked, raised instead of sink, falling backwards from the watery grave, all are connected by a spirit link. Oh, are we back at the... The fish god is pursued from shore to shore. They chase the beast tirelessly from its nest. Its final vessel meets within the seafloor. Only now the fisher warrior can rest. Oh, okay. Rest and it shall be in anew. Okay. Um, I actually w saw on the page that this game loops. You know, after a while, uh, I hear it's. I, I read it was like, you know, I don't know, five, fifteen minutes. I don't know. After a while, you can go back on sea and the the monster respawns. Uh, so I guess this is the end of the game. Um. I really enjoyed the aesthetics. The gameplay is pretty pretty decent. Um, I've definitely seen it in other indie games, but I think this may have been before those. So I'm not going to hold that against it. Um, 
but I, I really enjoy these giant sea monster type stories and stuff. The, the aesthetics of this game are really cool. They really imply, I, I kept calling it uh, uh, Conan-esque. And yeah, this, this, is, this setting really has this Conan feel to it. Or maybe something closer to Morrowind now that we've gotten a good look of how gothic it's going. Um... Either way, the implied world is really cool. I love the I love the aesthetics and how they handled it. I love how when you get closer to uh, the I love how as the battle phases go onward, the weather gets harsher and stuff. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. This was a fun. <laughs> I was about to call it a spear fishing game, but it seems to downplay it quite a bit from what they're going for. Uh, spear fishing of the gods, uh, as I, I could say. Um, and yeah, I, I I I really enjoyed this. This was made for a, a jam with the theme of fishing, and I think this is the last one of that jam I'm going to end up playing. Um, we've definitely seen the other ones, uh, other ones I was interested in. So don't worry about you know seeing them. And yeah, I'm going to call it there for today. As always, links are in the description below. Please give them some support. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Please join me next time. I love you. And bye bye Please like and subscribe.